Alright guys, what is up? I guess it's working now. Wouldn't let me use the snowball for a second there. But uh yeah, we're gonna hear review TLC reactions and everything. As you can hear I got my PS4 on so I had so I, you might be able to hear it, I don't know. But um TLC. First match to me was the best match. It was the ladder match for the tag team championships New Day versus Lucha Dragons versus the Usos. And you know, knew they had to come out there and put cut a little promo for the match. And it was actually pretty funny. Little Mikey called a case of the oops. <laughs> that was funny. I mean, they're they're the best heels in WWE right now. I'm just saying. And I mean, it was a really great match. Kalisto hit the Salida del Sol or whatever it's called onto a ladder, busted Uso through a ladder. Then Sin Car got up there, hit a Swanton bomb. And I was wondering why they didn't give him the title. Them the titles after that. That was the biggest moment of the match. They should have gave him the titles. Them the titles after that. I don't know what what went through their mind when they did it, but they didn't. All in all, it was, it ended great. It was a great ending. They did a good job on that. But it was a uh, new day winning. Everybody was out of the ring. Xavier Woods, Singhar was about to get the titles. Xavier Woods came in, got him out through the trombone, whatever the hell that freaking instrument's called. And he, he fell off, of course. Kofi Kingston got in there, took the titles, and it was the end of the match. It was pretty great. Now we go to the next match. It was Ryback Rusev. Eh, it was too short. That's all I got to say about that. I mean, they could have had a little bit longer, and I wish Ryback would have won it. I know they got to keep the title, I mean, the rivalry kind of going or whatever into a Royal Rumble. But, um, we'll talk about Royal Rumble later in the, this episode or whatever, because I got a lot of things to say about that. Um, and to me, what could have been the best match of the night was up next, and it was the Jack Swagger and Alberto Del Rio match. I mean, it was great, but the crowd was not into it at all. The only thing they would say was, we the people, and it was just pathetic from the crowd standpoint. It was a great match. Alberto Del Rio won. He stacked up all the chairs up under Jack Swagger and hit that double stomp off the top rope, and it looked like he'd had to hurt. But they were killing each other with, tape, with chairs, and, um, what's it called? Jack Swagger hit the ankle lock while the chair was around Alberto's ankles, and I thought it was over there. I thought it was really over there, and then, okay, so that's all I gotta say about that match. I think it could have been a little, I think the winner could have been different. That's, it was a great match, but the winner should have been different. And now, the old farts extremist went up against the freaking Wyatt family. And you know that outcome. They did take a th but 3D, 3D bomb through the table for Eric Rowan. After that, the Wyatt family tore their asses off. It was just murder. But um, I wish they would have lit the table on fire. Bubba got the uh, lighter fluid and hit the... What's it called? Hit the... Had a lighter, and then there comes Bray Wyatt, eliminated him, and I was into the match. I mean, it was like a freaking demolition derby. I mean, there was just no freaking, it was just straight anarchy. There was no freaking structure in that match. They just freaking botched a lot of moves. I mean, it was, it was Botchamania. If you like Botchamania, watch out for that, for that match. It'll be on there for damn sure. Then, was it the Divas match? <sighs> No one cares, really, but I'll talk about it for a little bit. Um, what was it? Charlotte Page? Page should have won. I know they're waiting until Royal Rumble, and I honestly think they're waiting until Royal Rumble to do a double turn because Page is, is a heel. Full-blown heel. They're working towards it, I, I can tell. It's just going to happen. Page is the... Is, I mean, if that is... Paige should be the face. She's always the face. She's the best diva in that fucking division besides Sasha Banks. They need to bring up Bailey from NXT and make it a little bit watchable again. And now, it was, oh, whatever. We're done with the match. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It was just complete trash. But, um, then we go to the Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens match. It, I don't really think it was that long, honestly. I, I like how Dean Ambrose won. That's all I gotta say about that match. It wasn't that long. I thought they were gonna let Kevin Owens win to build up to a Brock Lesnar match at WrestleMania. So I don't know where they're really going with that. 
And now we go ahead and head on to the main event. And God, dog, the main event. The fans were not into it whatsoever. I'm talking about they were chanting, let's go Cena. Cena sucks. So the match was okay. And you, of course, you know Roman Reigns got screwed over again. So he beat the shit out of the League of Nations and beat the shit out of Triple H. That was the best damn part of the night. I mean, run off through the table, elbow dropping through the table, and they had all the medics and all the doctor people holding him. And Roman Reigns looked at the camera and goes, I told you I'll make a statement. Turns around, runs from the ramp to the side of the ring, and spears Triple H through everybody. It was freaking awesome. And he beat the shit out of him with the chair, too. I mean, it was just great. So there's my review for WWE TLC 2015. And now we're going to get to what I think the ratings were. I say it was a 4 out of 5 stars. And if you don't, if you, if you really, tell, let me know why you think it should, should it be a 5 out of 5 or less than a 4 out of 5. But, um, I think, I think the couple of matches could have been better and it would have been a 5 out of 5. I think the Divas match, they got to put Shasha Banks in there sooner or later or Becky Lynch or something. And Jack Swagger should have won, honestly. I mean, come on now. But, um, and ECW, it was okay. It was one of the matches that you knew was going to be a little bit eh, and it was exciting moments in there. But, um, yeah, the best moment of the night, like I said, was R Triple H getting his ass beat. And they're pretty sure they're building up to a match at either Royal Rumble or Fastlane or WrestleMania. But with that being said, please like, subscribe, and comment. And just remember, let me know what you think about the whole TLC and the review itself. And Tuesday, we're going to do a raw, raw review. So I am out and be ready for the raw review Tuesday.